What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you guys an idea called Defending with Tempo. Uh, it's going to save you a bunch of games, a bunch of bad positions, a bunch of positions where you're panicking. But before I get to that, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more great chess videos. So Defending with Tempo, the first step to <laughs> Defending with Tempo is knowing that you're in danger. <laughs> so here, let's take this position for example. We want to go Rook takes Bishop. But if we go rook takes bishop, what is he going to do? He's going to go rook check and take our rook. So keeping that in mind, now we can defend with tempo. So we got to stop this threat with an attack. So here we go, king b8, attacking the rook. The, the rook moves away, and now we can take the bishop. Because now there's no rook check back here. Very important idea. This is going to save you so many games. But the first thing is you got to see that you're in danger. There'll be some more more clear positions coming up. So let's take this position, for example. So here, white's threat. Bishop takes queen. This is the main threat. Now, on top of bishop takes queen, if you look around, you can see he's also attacking the bishop. So what we can do here is we need to move this queen, or I guess this bishop, with tempo. This bishop can't really do much. But with our queen, we can go queen a5, attacking his rook. Now he doesn't have time to take our bishop, because then we'll just take his rook. Um... And that's going to save the day. You could also go queen c8, uh, but I also I always like attacking better. So queen a5. Okay, next position. We have this bishop under attack. We could take the rook, but then we look to see what is black threatening to do. He wants to take on g2 with checkmate. So we could go bishop f3. We could uh, go g3. But the best move here, 100%, is pawn to f3. Because now if he takes our bishop, we'll take his bishop. So with f3, he doesn't have time to take our bishop and defend his bishop. So if he moves it away, we move ours away. He takes our bishop, we take his bishop. And this is defending with tempo. So some more complicated positions. So here, both our pieces are forked. This is when you're gonna see it a lot. When you have two pieces under attack, when you're panicking, you're like, oh my God, uh, what am I gonna do? So here, what is supporting this pawn? This queen. So what we can do is go c3, hitting the queen and the rook. He's gotta take, and then we go bishop takes pawn, because now the queen has moved. So here, oh man, both pieces are forked. What can I do? What can I attack? And do I have any checks? Those are the two things that you want to look at. So here, we can go pawn to c3, attacking both. And then we take the uh, the pawn on d5. Okay, so now this one. This one I actually really like. So we have this pin. So we have rook, knight, rook. If we move our knight away, he goes rook takes rook, checkmate. We can go knight takes pawn. Pawn takes and then trade, but then we're down a piece. So the key here is what checks or attacks do we have? We already looked at this. Instead, we can go bishop to f4, attacking the rook. Now, if the rook moves away, now we can move the knight, because now there's no pin. We have rook, bishop, bishop, knight. So just bishop f4, hit the rook, rook moves, and then we move our knight safely away, and there's nothing to worry about. So that is how you can survive this position. Okay, now this one. So this one, we want to take this knight, right? So if we take here, we got to think, what is white going to do? So he's going to go queen takes pawn check and take our bishop. So what we do is everything with check, everything with tempo. We go queen takes pawn check. Remember, it's check, so he has to move. We go queen here check. He has to go here. And now we can go queen to here check, and we're going to pick up the knight with the queen and then support this pawn. So queen takes pawn, king here, queen check, king here, and then queen check and queen takes knight. And instead of uh, giving back the material, we're going to have two pieces for a rook and be more than happy in this position. Okay, so this one. This one's a cool one. Because um, uh, we have this line of fire. We have queen, knight, king. If we go queen takes knight, he goes queen takes rook. Obviously, our king is weak and we're down some pawns. But there's a very, very clever move here for white. So do we have any attacks? Do we have any checks? I don't see any checks. Now, we do have an attack. We can go pawn to f5. So now if he goes queen takes, his queen is no longer supporting the knight. So queen take, so pawn push, queen takes, we go king takes knight, and now we're up a rook, which is a lot better than being up a knight for all these pawns. So pawn push, if he goes pawn takes, now we can take the knight because the pawn is here. So pawn push, his pawn is here, so now we cannot take our rook anymore. So now our queen is in guard, doesn't have to guard the knight, and it can come over here and take the knight. So here, f5. Defending with tempo. Just a couple more examples. So this one, very similar to the last one. We want to take this bishop. 
but then he has queen takes pawn checkmate so here we could go rook f8 we could go rook e7 we could go bishop b7 there's a bunch of different ways to just defend here but defend with tempo defend by attacking something so here we go pawn to c4 if he goes queen takes now we take the rook because the queen was guarding here and pawn to c4 if he goes pawn takes now we can take the bishop because there's no checkmate so we deal with this threat by attacking. That way he doesn't have time to defend. Remember, time in chess is very important. Okay, now this one. So this one, we got some options. He's giving us a check with the queen. We can block with the knight. We can block with the bishop. We can move our king. And then we can even block with the queen. We're not going to block with the queen. We'll throw that one away. So if we block with the knight, now he has time. He has time to set up. Instead, if we block with the bishop, we move the bishop back. Now our threat is queen takes pawn checkmate. Um, and after bishop f8, he cannot go knight takes pawn because we have back rank queen here check, take and take. So bishop f8 attacks b2, attacks the knight and is defended. And that is how we're going to defend with tempo in this position. All right, so now this one. This one looks like white is in cruise control. So we, we want to go like queen checkmate back here, h7 or h8, but if king runs. So we want to go g6 first. Now, if we go g6, we have to think, what is he going to do? He's going to defend with tempo. This is almost a defend with tempo to defend with tempo. So if we go g6, he's going to go queen here, check. The saving move, check. We have to trade, otherwise he trades, and now there's no checkmate. So to defend with tempo here, we got to take away this check. Now, we can take it away and attack at the same time. The way to do that is rook to h4, attacking the queen. So rook here, attacks the queen. Um, queen moves away, and now g6 and checkmate is good to go. Okay, and I think he's, this is the last one. There's one more. This one's really cool. So he's got a bunch of checks. We got this pin. He's also threatening to take our rook. Now, how do we defend with tempo here? we got to look for different ways to attack or check. Now, when we're in checks, so we don't have so many options. If we block with the rook, he queens. If we move our king, he takes our rook. But here we have a very special move. We can go rook c4 check. So rook c4 check, blocks the check, and if he goes king takes, queen here is now checkmate. That one's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm a big fan of this puzzle. So rook c4 check, he can't go queen takes because he's got the pin. So rook c4 check, king takes, and then queen c3 is mate. And I think this is, this is the last one. So defend with tempo. So here, if we take this bishop, what is he going to do? He's going to go pawn push check and fork the queen and the king. Um, so we have to move our queen away, but we have to move it somewhere with tempo or to attack something. So we could go queen takes pawn, but then the bishop moves away. So here, the key is queen takes b2 attacking the rook. He can go rook check, but then we go king here and there's no mate. And pawn push check, now we can safely run back home where it's safe. So very, very important. First, you got to think, what are they going to do after my move? If you have something, if you can see their threat, then you know, okay, now I need to defend with tempo. Whenever you're panicking, whenever you're like, oh, I got more than one piece under attack, uh, my king, some, something's happening to my king, look to defend with tempo. Move a piece and attack. Move a piece and give a check. So you can see from these examples, it's going to get you out of a lot of tough positions, and it's going to blow your opponent's mind too. They're going to be like, I had him, I had him, I had him. And then all of a sudden, it's like, wait, I'm losing? I'm not winning? And that is exactly why we defend with tempo. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you guys are entertained.